Welcome back, one and all, to Reketeer, uh, an item shop's tale. I'm sorry, I lost something. There you go. Um, we are back, and after some complications, I think we're ready to play it again. Let's see if this works, this frame rate. It may lag still, um, still and I'm sorry for that. Um... I did kind of push this computer a lot today, so it may not be happy with me. You know, let me close Firefox things. Okay, what can I turn off? Oh, East is on. Fucking East. No wonder. Oh, you had another game running? Yeah. Oh, that might do it. And maybe I might go offline with this. Oh my god, East, turn off! East, go away. Guys, I hate Steam. Did that help a little bit? Oh, that did! I am sorry. Oh god. There's so much weed. All of the weed. A girl and a fairy, you two are. You are Rossetti, and that is the lone and that lone shark. Well, that is not well an incorrect assessment. Could you please refrain from calling me a lone shark? That's right, Mister. Stop being such a jacker. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. <laughs> Forgive me, forgive me, partners it is. So how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stopped by in order to show you our gratitude for your help. Haha, <laughs> very good. You two know what? He's like a not quite lumberjack. He's a Canadian. If you have any problems, let me know. I'm glad he to help. He does look like a Canadian. Sorry, Gek. Just, just as Gek leaves. Yeah. <laughs> I offended him. Response to that comment. Hashtag not sorry. <laughs> AP oh, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Um, we appreciate your kindness. Ikitisimas. Ah, can't do Japanese. Thank you very much. No problem at all. It almost scared that Michael get pissed off at my at my non japanese -ness. So you came straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up, up to the counter then. Let's see what you t can do. Let's get sorted. GG, Tina. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I could not purchase purchasing no more than tight items. Let's talk to him first. <laughs> what is the guild? Right, so the guild is essentially a group of people in the same kind of business to cooperate with one another. Batyan, I'm sorry. Peter never sleeps, your, Creeper. Your face is a guild. Lunar. <laughs> Since the prices on the items can vary from store to store, it's hard to do business if there isn't a base price between them, right? That's what we guild merchants guild is for. We manage. Sorry, I'm laying on my back, guys. I heard a lot today. What did I wake up to? <laughs> Me playing a stream. Show him, Val. Yeah, she's streaming. Who's silly? Keep presses stable throughout the city. That is why we require that. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> Earlier. Yes, I fell asleep. Aww. That's why we require everyone who wants to do business around here to register with the guild. Don't worry, your store, Rita Claire, is already in the... Oh, it's the mixture between Tears Voice and... I forget how I pronounced yeah. her name already. Uh, huh? Their store is a ship name. It ain't all... <laughs> 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 
so that caught me off guard. I read all that paperwork and red tape, though, now that you're a member. You can pick up stock for your shop here and get access to a new few other benefits, too. We're here to help, so feel free to make, sh make use of us, okay? Thanks. What can I do here? Sorry, guys, since I don't know how to play the game, I kind of, you know, need to know. Here at the guild, you can always be able to set up goods for a set price. Most of what we can get our, our hands on is practical stuff, though. <sighs> Weapons, armor, clothes, and adventuring necessities and like. The, ta the town's main market, who we work with, is where we can get things like foodstuffs, books, and other sort of knickknacks. They're really flashy and rare stuff and is a bit out of our league. If you have a mind to get your mitts on some of that kind of stuff, you'll have to go dungeon stomping yourself, or buy off a customer. Mm. Oh, so we'll buy off any stock you have. Mind, we buy low as a rule, so if you want to make an actual profit, you're better off selling to your customers. Hmm. So... So, what I see this as, this is like Harvest Moon, but with a shop. And, oh, sorry, not Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, with a shop and you can beat the shit out of things. I thought all you had to do was give people, uh, sell people stuff and they'd do it for you, but. About merchant levels. Well, your merchant level is, well, your ability as an immersant. As it goes up, you'll be able to figure out how to redecorate or even expand your store. Heck, you might even be able to convince me to let you have a look at some of our store's more, uh, premium items. So, how do you reach your level? Simple. Spy, sell, trade, this is, this is an art and you'll learn by doing. See, this is my favorite part of a game, selling and buying shit, I don't know why. I actually really like to do that in a game, and I, I know I'm weird, I'm sorry about the town. This city's so getting a bit famous for old ru- oh, you know what? fuck this voice. Famous for the old ruins and the like that litter the surrounding countryside. So we've been seeing a steady stream of adventurous types coming in for a while. Sorry, it's killing my voice. I'll only do it when he's doing the main talk, okay? They're all here and try to strike it, it off rich of undiscovered treasures. In the wild- in the wilds, hunting for the f- for hunting for fat loot, they call it. Well, I don't know what they see in chasing after oversized loot, but their presence has also brought a lot of new merchants to the city. I sure won't complain. Business has <laughs> never been better. If you're that so loot. looking for, it, <laughs> uh. and if you might be resting in the plaza, I bet most of them will take the city's biggest pub, though. It'll never be too hard to sell those wandering types a little bit of liquid pleasure. Hmm. Even though I go there a little nip every now and then, the more faithful will probably hang out around the city chapel. We do get a few like that now and then on a pilgrimage or a quest to find old holy relics, or praise be to the seekers and all of that course. You might check the adventure go proper too, they're in charge of making sure exploration efforts aren't a total bedlam. They even succeed! Sometimes. Now keep in mind that these places are only open at certain times. For example, that pub only opens in the evening. We're pretty much open all the time, though. Wait. If you were open, how do you find the time to visit that pub? For that matter, when do you go home? But if you had that, if you had the kind of I do, you'd be out working the sauce for hours, too. Merde, forget what I said. It's fucking hilarious. About unknown items. Ma'am? Wait, she's French now? Oh, uh, I think this is in a French or Italian like setting. Hey, Creeper. Go to bed. You're in the same time zone as we are now. Now, if you're gonna go dungeon diving, you'll find a lot of stuff which you won't be able to identify at first. In particular, I'll bet my hat that you'll find a lot of what commonly called mystery ingredient ingredients by the adventurers. At first, you'll probably be tearing your hair out over all the junk. 
You keep finding all in all those places, but as your merchant level goes up, you'll be able to sort out the stuff you find and pick up the best materials and whatnot from the lot. Oh, and if you manage to get all those death traps safely, you'll have the time to identify everything safely. That means you won't know what you're carrying until you leave, though. So I can get shit. Ooh, what about Lumina? About fusion. What's the f did, did, did literally the city pop up to load what he was gonna say? Wow. Once a few merchant levels are under their belt, you'll be able to fuse. Items here at the, the guild hall. There are quite a few items you can only get by using the functions, so I'd get fam real familiar with the fur furnace if I were you. Remember, what you put in effects, you get out of fusion. If you put in some materials of say plus two quality, then you'll get an item of similar quality as a result. Keep an eye on what you're fusing too. You don't want to waste the good materials on a mediocre thing you can just buy somewhere. Another thing to keep in mind, it can be real tempting to keep your best quality items to yourself for personal use. But your customer know the quality of goods when they see them. And you'll earn a lot of respect if you sell top shelf merchandise. Top shelf, eh? There's a couple of stages to what you can pull off a of fusion. As you pick up some merchant levels, sorry my brother was talking to me, so, exp so experiment and be sure to come back here often to see what you can make. Alright. Hmm. Sorry, I was making funny faces at Creeper. Oh no, I saw you do them. I had to look them up quick. I think I'll do this. I'll buy one of you. I'll buy one of you. Oh, I should actually look at the description of these things. Made of wood from Holy Sight? Holy Sight? Very good at helping him novices focus their own spell work. Handcraft and magician stuff, the standard tool of any spell user. A basic bow made of wood from a forest kingdom. It's essential to a variety archer. The quintessential for veterans bow requires quite a bit of strength to pull. So I thought this was gonna be like funny, like in the laundry pool. Long well, enough to be useful, even if lacking the sharpness department, commonly used by rookies. Uh, I think I'll get a leather glove and that's it. Right then, will that be all? <laughs> yep, this is perfect! We shall return again when our stocks run low again. Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it! Here, a little something extra as a startup gift. Da 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 da! Yatta! Walnut bread! Thanks a bunch! Oh, I'm sorry, that must have hurt you guys' ears. Nah. Alright, little lady, give me your all. Capitalism! Oh, God, was she lying, though? Capitalism! 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 Well, Adam Smith, you'd be proud of us at any rate. You know, this is supposed to be a completely you different world. Western pig. <laughs> <laughs> Val, have you been making single smiley faces on YouTube? On my t chat? Val, ban yourself! Val, ban yourself! <laughs> He's a mod. I can't. I can't uh, time him out. I don't think you can. I tried it myself once. Very well. It is time to give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Ah. Okie dokie. What do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, they can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So, I need to get near these counters. Just so, once you know what to push to play something, what 